Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Brandon and today I want to talk to you about the attacking and defending Active Directory course that's offered by Pentester Academy. Now, successful completion of this course will make you a certified red team professional. And not only is that an amazing title, but the knowledge that you'll gain in that course is extremely applicable to modern pen tests and Active Directory environments. I took this course just about two months ago and was able to pass the exam on the first try. So today I wanna to break down exactly what you're gonna be getting when you buy the course, what the labs look like, and then what the exam looks like as well. Now, I think that this certification is one of the most affordably priced in the industry, especially for the knowledge that you are gaining. Now, as of now, there are three purchasing options for this certification. There is the 30-day lab, the 60-day lab, and the 90-day lab, and all come with one exam attempt. Now, you're going to be getting the same material no matter which option you decide to purchase. The only thing that differs is the amount of lab time that you get. Now, I know right now at the time of recording, they are running some sales and the price for the 30 days of lab and one exam attempt is $249. Now, that is an extremely affordable and reasonable price for certifications, especially this day and age when certain vendors are charging uh, upwards of one, two to $5,000 for a simple course or certification. $249 is pretty reasonable for 30 days of lab access and the exam. Now, this course is certainly geared towards people who are beginners with attacking Active Directory environments. They are going to assume that you have some sort of precursor knowledge of Active Directory, but they won't be assuming that you have any in-depth knowledge of Active Directory. You should certainly approach this course with some basic knowledge of, you know, what a domain controller is, how machines are joined to a domain, you know, the basics of Active Directory. But as far as attacking Active Directory goes, they really do start building from the ground up. And what I like is that they start to use a lot of the built-in and native PowerShell modules for Active Directory enumeration with PowerShell and things of that nature. So they really help you get a good grasp on how things are working when you're doing these attacks. So when you go ahead and purchase your lab time, what you're going to be getting is about 14 hours worth of pre-recorded videos. Now, this is the meat of the learning in this CRTP experience. These videos are a series of lectures that will teach you basically everything you need to know to pass the exam. So if you follow along with the videos and do the lab, you should have absolutely no problem with the exam. If you enjoy the way that I teach things here on my YouTube channel, you'll likely enjoy the teaching styles of CRTP as well. Now they follow a typical methodology for teaching this stuff where they'll go through some PowerPoint slides, they'll explain the general concept to you, and then they'll transition over to the lab and, and show you that hands-on experience where you can follow along with your lab access as well. So you get that concept explanation and the hands-on experience to solidify that. And there's about 14 hours worth of those videos and you can spend basically as long as you want in the lab, of course, not more than however much time that you purchased. So when you are actually in the CRTP lab, what you're gonna be presented with is an environment that has multiple Active Directory domains. There's parent and child domains, uh, as well as different domains with trust between them. So you'll get some practice working through different domain trusts as well, which was amazing because that was something that I had previously not done. So gaining that experience through CRTP was a really, really great thing for me. Now included in the videos, there is a full lab walkthrough, which is amazing. So you're not gonna be left stuck in this lab, not knowing what to do. If you need help, they have a pre-recorded solution where you can go through, watch exactly what we need to do and get explanations of the steps that you're not understanding. They also have a full write-up in PDF form for the lab. So you can go through and check that if you're not much of a video person. On top of that, they also have a flag submission system in the lab where you're gonna be solving different problems that they give to you and submitting the answers right into their online portal. This is great. It is one of those things that you'll probably be used to if you've ever done any sort of CTF. Uh, you're just answering questions that they provide to you. Although this is one of the things that I actually did not enjoy about the labs. I found that some of these questions were worded a little bit awkwardly and hard for me to understand exactly what they wanted me to give them as an answer. Therefore, I would solve whatever the problem was, but I couldn't figure out what the answer I was supposed to submit was. And that led to a little bit of frustration, but Nonetheless, it didn't hurt my learning experience and I still gained a lot of knowledge while working through those labs. Another really cool thing about these labs is that they start you on a student machine that is a Windows box and you're only given low privilege access. So it's a very realistic scenario where you have a regular user account on a Windows device and you need to you know, go through and privilege escalate and work through the other parts of the lab. It's not something where they just give you you know, root 
credentials to a Kali machine and you hack your way through that way. There's none of that. It's all done through Windows machines. Although you can connect in with a VPN with a Linux machine if that's how you choose to do it. But they do present everything attacking from a Windows box, which I thought was a bit refreshing since right now all you see is hacking with Kali and Kali Linux and this, this, and that about Kali Linux. While you're in this lab environment with CRTP, you are also going to be battling antivirus systems, which I thought is a great touch. They don't really ease the difficulty on these machines. They keep a lot of the default defenses in place and you are responsible for working around them just like in a real environment. I think that is a fantastic touch and the fact that you have to battle Windows Defender or whatever might be on the box is adding to the difficulty and adding to the learning experience. Now, once you've worked through all of the lab challenges, of course, you'll be ready to take the exam. And what I really appreciate about the CRTP is that what they teach you in the lab is what you need to know for the exam. There's not a lot of grasping at straws there, such as some other certifications um, where they might throw you, you know, little tidbits of information, but you need to do a lot of independent research to pass their exam. I think that the Attacking and Defending Active Directory course does an amazing job of preparing you for the CRTP exam. If you're able to go through all of the lab materials once or twice and are understanding all of that with no issues, you probably aren't going to have much of a hard time on the exam. Now I did find the exam fairly challenging and there were quite a few things that I did get stuck on for a little while, but in the end, I think that I was able to pass that exam with relative ease because of all the knowledge that I learned in the course. Now, a lot of that knowledge in the course was new to me. So I think that if I were to take the exam without the course, I don't think I would have passed. The CRTP exam follows a very similar format to the lab in which they give you access to a student machine, which you must compromise. But in the exam, there are five target machines that you must also compromise. Now, you don't necessarily need to gain full administrative control over those five target machines. You just need to prove that you have command execution on them. They give you 24 hours to compromise those six machines and then an additional 24 hours to write the report, similar to the format of the OSCP if you're familiar with that. So they do give you a pretty reasonable amount of time to go through and compromise all those machines and write the report. In my case, it took me about eight hours to go through and compromise all the machines, write the report and get it submitted. So it wasn't a very long exam. It was something I just started in the morning and finished, you know, in the afternoon and called it a day and felt, you know, pretty confident in passing, thankfully, which I was able to do. After finishing the exam, I felt that it certainly was challenging and it tested the knowledge that I was taught in the Attacking and Defending Active Directory course, although I did not feel that it was overwhelming. I felt that it was a pretty reasonable exam to take. So overall, if you're looking to gain some more knowledge about attacking Active Directory and you're more at the beginner stages of learning that, I think the CRTP is a fantastic option for you. I know that the investment I made in purchasing it was well worth it with the knowledge that I gained from the course, as well as that extra certification that I can go ahead and put on my resume. Pentester Academy is a pretty well-known certification vendor by now, so I think that putting the CRTP on your resume if you're applying for some sort of pen testing position will certainly help you stand out. And the company that you're applying to should certainly understand the knowledge that you know based on that certification that you have. Now, in terms of how long you should purchase the lab time, I know a lot of people are going to be asking that question. Personally, I purchased 60 days and I felt that that was too long. I think that it only should have taken me about two or three weeks to actually finish that, all that coursework. And that's working at a relatively moderate pace. I wasn't cramming every night after work or anything. You know, as I mentioned, there's only about 14 hours of videos and then you go through and do the lab during those videos as well. So you're not really going to be looking at too much time if you already have some basic familiarity with Active Directory. And to be fair, I was familiar with a decent amount of the coursework before starting. So that might be playing into why it didn't take me as long. But I think that taking the 30 day option is a pretty reasonable thing for most people. And at a price point of $249, I certainly think it is worth it. If you have any more questions about the CRTP, please feel free to drop a comment below or join my Discord server. There's a link below down in the description. There are tons of active people on there where you can chat about all sorts of cybersecurity related things. If you found this review helpful, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.